The seals are marine mammals and carnivores that have gained this title through their specialized hunting skills. Even though they are marine creatures, their lives are not entirely spent in the sea, but they also spend time on the land where they mate, give birth, and molt. In general, the seals have a spindle-shaped body, four limbs that are modified into flippers, and several layers of fat under their skin, commonly called as blubber, that keep them warm. Surprisingly, these sea creatures have an ancestral relationship with the bears. Now, does the term seal refer to only one type of sea creature? The answer is, of course not. Seals are classified as pinnipeds, comprised of three main distinctive types of seals. The eared seals, the walrus, and the true seals. The eared seals have visible external ears, thus their name. They also possess long front flippers that they use to propel themselves through the water and also move on land. Eared seals are of two types, the fur seals and sea lions. The main difference between the two is that the sea lions have a coarse coat with hairs, whereas fur seals have thick coat of fur beneath their stiff, outer guard hairs. Beginning with the sea lions, the most popular species of this sea creature is the California sea lion. The sea lions are very intelligent marine creatures, where they display an eagerness to learning tricks. Due to this, most are trained and features in most zoos and circus. They are very social animal, naturally playful, and large groups commonly referred to as colonies, where they chase each other while making all kind of noise, including honking and barking. Sea lions are also excellent hunters, and their main target are the fast-moving fish and squids. They also dive to depths of 30 meters or more, and has an excellent ability of holding their breath for almost 10 minutes. It does this by slowing its heart rate from 95 to 20 beats per minute while it is underwater, thus conserving oxygen. Sea lions normally control their body temperature by raising one flipper out of the water. This ultimately exposes their blood vessels, in which they either release excess body heat into the environment or absorb warmth from the sun. Interestingly, the sea lions normally breathe out before diving to avoid them floating on water. When breathing in, they normally contract their cheek muscles to open its nostrils, and their nostrils automatically closes when they relax, preventing water getting into them during diving. Despite their small ears, the sea lions have an excellent hearing capability, especially when underwater. Sea lions possess up to 60 whiskers, which are super sensitive to touch, and this helps them to detect prey while in dark or murky waters. While on the land, the sea lion can move quite fast on all fours. It first arches its back and moves its back limbs forward, then raises its front part to allow the front flippers to hold a grip, then can majestically takes off. During their mating season, sea lions normally congregate in their breeding beaches, where they turn it into battlegrounds where the males compete for territory and female partners. Typically, the winning male become the dominant sea lion bull in charge of 12 females that aggressively protect its territory and female partners or harems. The dominant male can be up to 8 feet long and weighing as much as 1 ton. The males don't feed during the breeding season and they utilize their body fat as source of energy. On the other hand, the fur seals are distinguished by their thick and woolly undercoats. This particular feature makes them an ideal target by the hunters, since their fur is quite valuable and expensive in the fur market. Fur seals are quite smaller compared to the sea lions, and the mature males may average 7 feet while weighing about 600 pounds. There are several species of fur seals with 8 species in the southern hemisphere and 1 species in the northern hemisphere, with the northern fur seal being the most abundant among all the species. Due to its valuable fur, the international treaties have put measures in protecting these particular sea mammals from excessive hunting. Now let's look at the walruses as the second type of seals. 
Walruses are common in the Arctic seas, where they feed on fish, mollusks, crustaceans, and echinoderms. They have a distinct neck, lack external ears, weigh up to 3,000 pounds, and their body can grow between 3 to 5 meters in length. Their skin is thick and wrinkled, and it happens to turn pink as these creatures warm up after emerging from the sea. They have sensitive whiskers that help them locate buried mollusks, such as clams, in the shallow and soft seabed. Walruses uses their back flippers for walking on land, while in the water, they propel themselves using their front and back flippers. The upper jaw canines of the male walruses develop into tusks, which they use in fighting their fellow males, especially during the mating season. These fights are quite fierce, and most males bear mark and scars of battle on their body. Apart from being used as a fighting tool, these tusks also help them to lift their massive bodies while onto ice flow, whereby they plant their tusks in ice like pickaxe and use them as an anchor. Normally, these tusks appear when the walruses are the age of five years, and they continue to increase in size as they age. Some time back, hunters slaughtered the walruses for their ivory tusks and their succulent flesh, leading to a significant decrease in their number, an action that made a law to be put forth for their protection. However, the native people who uses walruses as source of meat are exempt to this law. The family structure of the walrus is comprised of the father, who is a large dominant male that is in charge of three female partners and six baby calves of varying age. Once pregnant, the female walrus give birth to one or two babies after 11 months of pregnancy. These calves usually stay with their mother until they are four or five years old. The baby walruses initially possess a yellow-brown fur, but as they mature, their fur becomes paler and finally disappears. The female walruses have proven to be devoted mothers. However, the same cannot be said with the old male walruses, whereby they tend to kill the young walruses and enjoy them as delicacies. And lastly, the third group of the seals are the true seals. The true seals, also known as the phocids, have hind limbs specialized for swimming and moving on land. Their front limbs are quite smaller compared to the hind limbs, and they are much closer to their heads. As a result, their forelimbs are not well adapted to life on land, so whenever the true seals find themselves on land or ice flows, they normally move by dragging, sliding, or rolling their bodies. True seals typically display a monogamous way of life, whereby a male only mates with one female, and they stick together during the entire breeding season. The breeding happens on land, where each male mark their own territory, and also protecting their fiancé. Some of the true seals include the crab-eater seal, harbor seal, harp seal, leopard seal, and elephant seal. The crab-eater seals are the most abundant true seals, with their population reaching more than 15 million. They got their name from biologists in who first thought they, these seals, fed on crabs in the year 1842. However, the main diet of crab-eater seals is comprised of planktons, mostly the krill. Harbor seals are common along cooler coasts of the northern hemisphere. Based on the species, they can inhabit both marine and freshwater lakes, especially in Canada and Finland. They normally take their meals alone, and they feed on any type of fish, mollusks, or crustaceans. Most of their time is spent on land, where they assume a caterpillar-like motion, while in water they use alternating strokes of their flippers to propel themselves. Harp seals are closely related to harbor seal, and are quite common in the cold waters of Atlantic and Arctic oceans. The young ones of harp seal possess the most sought fur by hunters due to its high value and cost. Normally, the newborn harp seals have long, silky and yellowish fur that turns pure whites few days after their birth. The fur merchants normally refer to this fur as the white coat. Due to massive killing of young harp seals in such of its fur, the Canadian government was forced to put effect laws against the killing and skinning of these creatures.
The leopard seals are quite unique since they are the only ones in this group that eat homoeothermic animals. Their diets ranges from fish, krill, seabirds to penguins. They are excellent swimmers, and during hunting they lurk patiently along the edges of ice flows of the sea, waiting for any prey approaching the waters. When on land, their heavy bodies and difficult in dragging them renders them less harmful to their preys. As they hunt other animals, leopard seals also get hunted by the killer whales. Lastly, the elephant seals are gigantic in size, making them stand out among the seals. Their males have a unique long nose or proboscis that is actually an enlarged and inflatable nasal cavity. In normal days, this structure is normally soft and deflated, but during the mating season, it gets inflated forming a 50 centimeters long trunk. This way, it is able to attract females, amplifies its sounds and roars, and also warn other males not to dare step in their territory. The two main species of elephant seals include the southern elephant seal that inhabits the islands at the tip of South America and in the Antarctic. The southern elephant seal length can reach up to 6 meters while its weight exceeding 4 tons. The other species is the northern elephant seal, which is common on the Pacific coast of North America, from Vancouver Island in Canada to Baja California. Their maximum body length is estimated to reach 5 meters, while weighing more than 3 tons. They normally feed on squid while on the sea, and their breeding season occur from December to mid-March. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed and learned something. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified once a new video gets uploaded.